Yo, what's up my brother? What's up my sister? This is your boy Oscar Ntege again with yet another amazing video. Now in this particular video today I'm going to show you how to edit this kind of bad makeup. Because when you look at this makeup, truth be told, the makeup was messed up. It wasn't really done so well. When you look at the contouring, the contouring was all wrong because the makeup artist made the nose contours too dark in an attempt for him or her sharpening the nose you when you look at this you realize the makeup went all wrong and when you look at also the eyebrow the eyebrow he put a bit of concealer on top of the eyebrow which makes the eyebrow get that kind of uh, floating like effect and we don't want to have that in our pictures and when you look at also the blushing the blushing is also quite heavy on her especially on this side of the face now also when you look at the foundation the foundation is a bit spilled and messed up we have this demarcation of the contours they are not well blended so those are some of the issues we need to address in this particular artwork when it comes to the eye makeup yes the eye makeup is good yeah we shall not do any improvements there but we need to make this makeup more subtle ready to get into this Okay, let's dive into this already. Now, this time around, you're going to use frequency separation, first of all. How do we do it? Now, you come and duplicate this layer twice, just like that. Then you come and blur this out. So we're going to first rename this. We're going to call this tones. Yes. And then we're going to call this textures. Now, for those of you who don't know what frequency separation is, frequency separation basically is a photo retouching technique that gives you the ability to edit the skin tones and the skin textures on two different layers. Basically, that is the advantage frequency separation has over the any other photo editing techniques. Now, with this technique, we shall be able to work on the textures of the image alone and also the tones of the images alone. So we are going to correct the tones first. Like I had told you, now the bottom layer, this one that has tones, this is where we're going to edit all the skin tones. And the upper layer is where we're going to edit the textures. Are you with me? Okay, now let me first and remove the eye icon so that we only have this one that is active. So what I do, I select the tonal layer right here and I press, I get into filter. I say blah, then I say Gaussian blah. Now you take this back to zero. Now, the mistake most of the people do, they just drag this until they see that the skin has got blurry. Now, the problem with just doing this, dragging up front, is that uh, it is very hard for you to detect that sweet spot because this is the most important step in frequency separation. I want you to be with me here. Hey, give me your attention now, right now. If you want to make more money into your photography business, you should watch out for this particular step. Now, this is what you need to do. You have to come and just click up front, checking out the right blur. Now, every blur that you want, now, every kind of texture that you want to maintain in the final image has to blur out. I love the textures around here. Let me take it back to zero. I love the textures around here. So, I'm going to make sure that I blur out all these textures in a way that I don't see them, okay? Let us get into this. Now, you come, you don't drag it until you come and you go on checking because different pictures need different blur amounts. Photo of uh, 50 megapixels needs a different blur amount from that one of uh, 16 megapixels. So you come and click here until you see now. To me, we are holding to this. This is my sweet spot. You know, now just imagine I had just dragged until it is that moment before the texture goes out and before it becomes blood. There is that sweet spot where the in between spot. Now, here I will just come and say, okay. Okay. So I'm going to come here on the topmost layer, the texture layer, and make it active again. So I'll select it and come into image. I say apply. Then I'll come here into the select. Remember, we are subtracting, we are removing the textures from the tonal layer like that so you make sure here it is in subtract okay you put your scale at 2 and your offset at 128 and of course leave the rest as it is but you make sure that you select the tonal layer because remember remember the texture we subtracted the texture will blurred out now this is the moment where we come here and select tones because we want to subtract that texture off the what the tonal layer so you come here and say okay so the next thing we're going to do, we're just going to come here and say linear light. Now, 
when you look at this image it looks like the, our background layer nothing has changed now the difference between let me put this in a group just for us we shall rename this group frequency frequency now now the difference between this particular layer and this is that this one the texture and the skin tones are all on the same layer but this one we've separated the texture from the tones that's the amazing thing about this so now i can work on the tones all alone and also work on the textures all alone so what i'm going, going to do now i'm just going to come into the bottom layer here and on top of that the first on top of that i'm going to create a new layer now i'm going to call this skin tone match now the reason as to why i'm creating this layer is that to help me correct these these skin tones that weren't really that good so what am i going to do i get my brush tool right here i come and reduce the flow to something of uh, around uh, three then i'm just going to come and zoom in right here to where i want to match because the makeup really went all wrong so i'm just going to come and get my brush and then i press the alt key yeah on my keyboard to select a color and then i'm just going to come and begin painting over this particular area just like that I do the same over this side what am i trying to do i'm trying to blend you know to get at least colors that match now also this contour i'm just going to come and just paint over you see i still come and do the same thing over here i just press alt on my keyboard to color pick and then still do the same thing over here just choose those colors so here i think i'll get a color from around this particular zone basically you choose the colors to paint you choose from those particular zones now the neck also seems to be dark i'll come and pick it from here yes one would claim that okay this is but this is a shadow but truth be told clients never look at those things as shadows they look at those things as uh you know blemishes or imperfections so i just come and paint over now this has helped me at least tone down on the nose contour let's see look at the before that's the before and that's the after before and after now we've almost done almost 50 percent of you of uh, working on the skin tones so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm just going now to work on the on the what on how smooth the skin is okay so on the smoothness of the skin how am i going to do that so i'm just going to come make sure the feather is at 18 with my lasso tool then i'm going to come and begin doing my frequency filter blah so i say gaussian blast so i'm just going to come and put it back at zero then you remember the other technique i showed you of uh, you know not just dragging things until you see that the skin is smooth no you don't do that you go on you know sampling you know so you go a step at a time until you see now here you see how it turned flat now i don't want to it to turn flat so i'll go back a step back now this is the sweet spot where i have the highlights showing and i have the skin tone actually well blended that is my sweet spot so i'll just come here and also do the same thing over here okay i'll just come and subtract this this selection was a bit so I'll just come press alt ctrl f just to repeat the same action and i'll just increase it a little bit like that all the way alt ctrl f still just come and light out i still come here then I do that all the same here I blend it I come here still do the same come here 
still do the same. I come and still light out until I see that it is uh, blended. Oh, also here, I come and still blend this nose contour in a way that it doesn't lose the highlight filter, blur, you see Gaussian blur. So I don't want to lose the nose highlight, so I'll just keep it there. I come here again, I still do the same, I blow it out until it blends in very well. See? So the next thing I'm going to do right now, I'm going to come now and uh, work on the texture of the image. Now she has, oh let me just also blend in the eye before we go into the texture, onto the skin texture. So I'll just come here. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I blend in the eye makeup, just like that. You know, it is super, super simple. It is amazing how small little things really make a big difference. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm just going to come and work on the texture of the whole piece. So what am I going to do here? I'm just going to come and create a new black and white layer, It rather a black a black and white adjustment layer just right on top here black and white and what I'm going to do I'm just going to come and crush oops sorry okay I'm just going to first come and uh, press ctrl i in order to reveal yeah oh sorry uh, I had something selected that is why it didn't really work let me just delete this so I'm just going to come here and deselect of course I'm just going to come create a black and white adjustment layer right here where's black and white right here so i'm just going to come and crush the reds in order for me to get those bad textures exposed so i'm just going to come here and get onto this now i prefer usually using the the what the clone stamp for such complex textures why i don't want to use the the spot healing tool in such people that have heavily textured uh, textured uh, skins is that it usually leaves marks that show that editing took place. I don't, I don't want to have that. So what I do, I just come and increase the hardness of my brush and then I reduce the brush size according to what I'm editing. So I just come press Alt to select a, a, a part and then I click Alt click, Alt click and I come on and I come removing all these, you know bad textures that I don't really want just like that so I do the same here like that like that you know the good thing about using the clone stamp is that you don't have to you know that you just copy it. Basically, you're using the same textures within the image to to cover up the the bad textures. So I remove all this white stuff. Of course, you you can perfect it when you're doing client photos. I'm not going to make it so perfect for this tutorial because I don't want the tutorial to be so long. But if you want. Uh, detailed tutorials on how I do everything step by step. I have a retouching secrets masterclass. You can click the first link in the description below and join the retouching secrets masterclass where I show everything step by step with no steps skipped. And actually it is uh, very, very affordable in consideration to the value you get out of it. Basically you'll be an amazing retoucher by next Friday if you know you enroll right now so i come and remove all of these just like that and the other thing is that i, I i'm always putting their premium tutorials premium content within the master class so you'll be getting premium content within the master class yeah like that So I'm just going to remove this black and white layer just for me to see what I'm working with. So I, I really don't like the way the nose contour came out here. So I'm just going to come and uh, 
you know, just remove this nose contour and I will do my own nose contours during the mining and dodging. Same here. Please forgive the sound. I have people constructing outdoors. I don't know that you're hearing the bangs. People are trying to, they're trying to repair the gate. I don't know why they chose to do it this time. But right. anyhow, let's continue. <laughs> so, basically, let's let, let's look at the before and after. Okay, look at this. Now, that's the before, that's the after. Before and after, before and after. Now, when you look at where we got the image from, basically we had all this bad nose contouring and in just a few steps we've been able to remove and correct those skin tones. When you look at the, the makeup was not well done. So it is us photographers that help in correcting such makeup mistakes that go wrong during glamour photo shoots. So that is how I work on skin tones and you can use the same the same techniques to work on skin tones that are not really matching where you find somebody has patches all over you use this same technique you just create basically a layer in between here you know this one here it helps us blend all those things and put everything together so that is how you work on two those particular things and if you want to learn how to remove a chromatic aberration those purple those purple lines that get into images i'm going to create for you a tutorial on how to remove these greenish purple lines that come onto an image especially when you're shooting with a cheap lens or with the uh, pictures that are backlit i'll see you in the next one if you've not subscribed to this channel subscribe to this channel right now and i'll see you in the next one and adios if you're a photographer who wants to level up the quality and outlook of your final images, no matter the camera, the one thing you should be focusing on learning and mastering right now is high-end retouching. In the past 10 years, I've helped thousands of photographers like you kickstart their businesses. And I can tell you, high-end retouching is by far the most important skill any new photographer can learn. It adds 10 times more value to an average image. And it is for this reason I've put together a masterclass called Retouching Secrets, where I teach you everything I've learned from retouching thousands of images from my portrait and commercial clients. Inside, you're going to discover the basics of high-end retouching, the tools you need. I will reveal to you the image assessment secrets to help you retouch any kind of photo, no matter the lighting. You will also get an overview of the color theory, an introduction to professional retouching techniques. Then after, I will show you over a dozen real-world examples where you will watch over my shoulder as I work on real client photos and you will learn how to retouch the most common scenarios you are likely to come across. With these tools, techniques and secrets in your hands, you will be able to create amazing high-end glamour images for your clients no matter the camera you are currently using. So if you are ready to take your photography to the next granular level, click the link down here and get started right now.